Hello Doraemons, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to look into the question which is asked on 21st of March. So one part of the question was really easy to solve, which I've already solved in my previous videos. And one more question which is asked on the Yare is a little more tough and different. So I think this would be a better opportunity to teach you guys about a different command and also how to handle these kind of questions i think uh, this question have been repeated twice as far as i seen in ira so you might expect this question again too so yeah without further ado let's first solve the first question i think i have not uh, yet given this as one separate one but yeah it's already available too if you want you can check in the link above in the cards so now let's get started so first off i'm going to solve this first question so let's look into the question first here it is given as write a unique command to kind count the number of samplings with a count greater than 25 then print the output on the following format which is total count is equal to count so what is the basic condition is if the count is greater than 25 then we have to add the respective counts and display the total count that's it so it's really simple and you guys know how to do it so let's get started with the arc command and then i'll put begin and here i'm going to give fs and here the field separator is ash after this i'm going to declare a variable to hold the count total and here i'm just going to put if as this is third column id is first column and name is second column and count is third column so i'm going to give dollar three is greater than 25 so only if it is greater than 25 then we have to add it so if it is greater than 25 then i'm adding it to the total so total plus equal to dollar three and in the end i have to print it so in the end and put the braces and if it is greater than zero if it founds any of the count greater than 25 then only it should print the total count if not then it has to print no sampling found so here i'm just going to put if t is greater than zero then we have to print total count is t and if else if it is zero or any negative value then we have to print like no sampling found and yeah now let's run it i'll copy paste this code input if you want to practice this question it is already available in my blog post you can get the link down in the description you can check it oops i made some mistake at nine oh here instead of else i've given as end okay yes so now we got the total count which is the output of first case and I'm going to just reduce these values to less than 25 and let's see whether it prints no output found now I'm going to run it again so this is it it has printed like no sampling found that's it for this question and let's quickly move on to the next one so this is the different question so you can read through this question actually if you would have time this is also available in my blog post down below in the description so what we have to do is we they'll be giving us like this and we have to convert it into a numbers and then we have to print only the greatest number so if you have been following my videos you might have known how to like solve this but again i'm going to show you so in this video i'm going to like um, 
teach you about one more important command which is set command so you might have known about this set command set command is usually used to cut and replace your words in bash so here i'm going to just show you how to replace it instead of tr you can also even use set command so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to replace these commas with a space so that it will be considered as a single number so let's do that this is the syntax for set what you should do is you have to put set and you have to put the single quotes and then you have to give s yes in the sense for that particular row and then you have to give like um, the symbol which you need to change so here i need to change the comma to space so i'm not giving anything in that place so it should not be replaced by anything it, that only the comma should be removed and you should put this g g in the sense globally now i'm just running it you can see all the commas were removed and now it is considered as a number so now we are going to just sort it now sort so now we almost got the things so now i'm going to just pass this sample output which is given here sample input and output and let's see what we get so now i'm just replacing it with these numbers and run so now you can see like it got arranged and now we want only the greater number so if you want like the smallest number it would not arrange it correctly because it is done using these first numbers and as of now they only asked for the greater number so let's go for that one so i'm going to sort it in reverse order and then you will get the greatest number and over here i'm just going to put head of minus one so this will give you the greatest number over the list and this is the output of this square sample input and output and for the second one so this is the more trickier one so they have given only like zero 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 and four zeros like that and now if we like give this as input now watch it is returning four zeros but we need only one zero so this also needs to be handled and this is the most important case so what you should do is you should again convert that uh, leading zeros with only one zero so what i'm going to do is I'm, again i'm going to use the set command and use the same s and here what we should do is if it starts with zero then uh, and, and also it continues with zero then we should replace it with only one zero so what should happen is here i'm going to put this arrow which represents starts with zero so if it starts with zero and then it goes on like multiples of zero which represent the start then it should be replaced with this one single zero and g so now i'm going to run it yes and if any number contains like this leading zeros now i'm just giving two zeros inside it and i'm giving some number to it now let's run and see it so now you got like a zero in front of it and then again six zero 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 like that so it should not happen like this so what i'm going to give is i'm going to give another zero so if there is only two consecutive zeros then it should print like this so now you got this output so yeah i think this is a new command which you learned today and i used this opportunity to teach you the set command so yeah and you may expect like the tutorials videos by this week i'm working on it first off we'll go with python and then we'll move on to unix and java so stay tuned and make sure you subscribe to my channel to get notified whenever i post a new video and i hope you like this video please hit the like button down below and yeah that's video that's it for this video guys i'll meet you in the next one until then this is your very own code Doraemon signing off. Keep learning and keep rocking. Peace out. Cheers. Bye.